Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. one started and off we go from Seattle takes it at the seven the lane opens here he's past the 30 A solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Check three, check three. Oh, he's got a little daylight. There he goes, right side. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. 68 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Well, they said they wanted to have some explosive runs. How about that one to start the game? And I would say on the defensive sideline, there's a lot to answer for. Because you spent all week saying, stop the run. I don't care who you're playing. You don't want to get run over. You don't want to get run past. And they have both over committing in the secondary and he just went stepping past them and is still running essentially one play and he hits pay dirt the kick unit for the seahawks out there on the field and we are ready to rock and they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback down with Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody find someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Tyreek Hill on the return. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. All comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some reason. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. 
So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown. We saw the payoff. But of course, that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Newton. Well, the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Now Newton. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Newton throwing again. Left side complete to Lockett. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Throwing is Newton. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A big play there, 48 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play but he could not pull it in. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Being chased out left. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And the Raiders pick it up. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. 
How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's got Rome. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Right back to him on first down. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Working with second and five now. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. On second down now, Staley. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders are back within a score. And his kick is no good. Misses the PAT, a mistake there. And this remains a seven-point game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead, you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. 
On second and very short, Newton. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Again, Newton. Dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second and 10, Newton. He finds his man complete. That's Alexander. Gave a glimpse of his quick feet. And they're taken down right at the 30. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now it's Newton. It's complete to lock it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they get five there on third and two. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. On first and ten, Newton. Returning right back to Lockett. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. You have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. A final shot before the break, Newton. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's enters. Oh, he put it on the card, but a fumble. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL. Audie Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. They go play action now. Wilson. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Staley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. There's Wilson to throw. Flush to his right. It's complete to Diggs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. They'll run on first down. Staley, and not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wilson. Flushed out right. He's to the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Zach Wilson. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. Now Prater to add the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. To throw is Newton. He finds his man complete. That's Alexander. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, Alexander. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Alexander. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. 
So that one's CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Oh, a good return up past the 30. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. His throw incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They go play action with Wilson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action. Now Wilson. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Play action. It's Wilson. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Wilson will throw again. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Now here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. Touchdown, Seahawks! Tyler Lockett taking it goal line. Yeah.